Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to edit your photos like Justin Escalona. Before I get started, I did a photo shoot for Kaylin Nicholson right here and she has like a million subscribers so that's pretty cool. And yeah, let's just get into it. I've been following Justin for around two years now and his photo style has probably stayed the same. He's recently changed it a bit however because he added grain to his photos but that isn't a big you know, change, you can add grain pretty easily. But his style is very different than a lot of people because first of all, if his photo has an orange tint, it's gonna be very orange. He likes to keep colors very unified in the photo. So if there's a blue sky in the background, he'll probably make his shirt blue. This is because he'll change the highlights to the color that he wants. So if there's an orange shirt he's wearing, he'll make the highlights orange. He also has a signature look, which is adding a lot of clarity as well, but he cancels out the clarity with shadow. So I'll just show you that right now. So for temperature right here, Justin prefers warmer colors. You may notice that off his Instagram feed, obviously. I'll make it warmer, but obviously it depends on the scenario because at nighttime, you may notice that there's more of a green tint and in the daytime, it's orange tint. Sometimes he'll use a blue tint, but it depends on the scenario. He'll also use vignetting at night and he'll also add a lot of grain at night, especially at night, but it really depends on, like I said, the scenario. So I'll make the temperature like very warm because that's what he kind of likes. I won't change the tint, but sometimes he does use a green tint. You may notice that. Exposure, I'm gonna increase it a bit because Justin's photos are usually exposed very well. In 99% of his photos, his face is in it and you can see it perfectly well. So you want to increase exposure. For contrast, you wanna decrease it surprisingly. Some people don't notice, but Justin's photos kind of have a faded film look. But the reason you may not notice is because he has a lot of clarity in his photos photos like i mentioned before that's what cancels it out is the faded effect so we're just going to decrease the contrast we're going to lower the highlights justin never increased the highlights unless there's a sun in the background or some ray of light in the background for shadows to increase it he likes detail so what he'll do is he'll sharpen the photos increase the shadows so that you can see everything increase the clarity it's sometimes overdone but uh, that's his style so whatever for whites he'll lower the whites because he doesn't like highlights and bright stuff. Uh, blacks, he'll lower the blacks just to give it a better look. The next thing for tone curves, uh, so what he does is he pulls from both sides, so he'll increase the shadows and lower the highlights. A lot of people do this, so it's not very surprising, so he'll just pull this up right here, and then he'll pull this down. Maybe this is too high, something like that. Oh, and I forgot to increase clarity, my bad. That's like his signature thing. I would think it's around like 40 or 50, something like that. Maybe that'll work, 45, and yeah. For the hue, saturation, and luminance, what I think Justin would do is first of all, change the green to something more similar to an orange, something warmer because he likes the colors to be unified kind of. So for hue, I would change the green right here to like this color. It's kind of closer, you know, to what he considers warm or what I consider warm. And yeah, where's the red? Red, something like that. Uh, An orange kind of like that. So it's stay the same. You don't want the green, obviously, so I'll just keep it around here. Purple, I don't see purple changing anything, so it doesn't really matter. And here it's changing the shirt. That's just preference. Like, do you like that shirt color? I don't know. Saturation, you know, keep the lips actually red because there's a lot of photos with people who don't have red lips. Like, it'll be like this. Why would you do that? But just keep it normal. Orange, you want to maybe increase it a bit along with the yellow. Green, just keep it around here. And yeah. Luminance, you probably want to increase the red here just for the lips and maybe yellow as well So the background stands out. It kind of looks too bright. So I'll lower the highlights a bit and then there we go And so for split toning this kind of gives off the effect that he has he'll add very light blue Highlights so just select right here and then he'll add a beige kind of look. That's what I was saying He doesn't have a very like orange look. It's kind of more beige than anything uh, So we're gonna increase the highlights right here something like that Shadows he'll select this probably and then something like this. This is usually how his photos look like this sort of color uh, I was referencing orange, but it kind of looks more beige if I think about it sharpening you want to just sharpen it around 25 and then we're going to go to effects here. So if you notice in his nighttime shots, what he'll do is he'll add a vignette right here and he'll do something like this. Make it very like light like this. And you may not notice it actually, but he does do this. And he does this in some of his daytime shots, which is surprising. He'll do like this right here. It isn't that noticeable, but personally, it doesn't look good in my opinion, but he'll do something like this. I think he does this so that the highlights 
aren't too bright and it kind of makes every part of the photo look unified just because it's a bit darker here now and that's probably what he's aiming for because this part's dark as well and it kind of fits in. He'll add grain in some photos, usually the photos that are night and that have a green tint. Sometimes he'll add it to photos like this with this color. He does this to add kind of a vintage look, you know what I mean? So yeah, we're just gonna increase it a bit like this. I believe he does dehaze his photos. I don't know why, but I think he does. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have his preset or whatever, so I don't know. And here, I'm gonna lower the vibrance because his photos aren't really vibrant. They're kind of like this, kind of like a dull color. For the tint, I am gonna move it to green because there is a bit of a green tint in some of his photos like this. And here, let's just see, something like that. Maybe lower saturation a bit. Uh, hue for this. Just like whatever looks right. So I guess that around that looks pretty normal to me. And blue right here, maybe negative one would work. So yeah, that's basically the end of the video. I'm just gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on other photos, just for reference right here. So we're gonna go to this one. Justin would probably post a photo like this next to a car, you know? So we're just gonna lower the brightness here just because it's kind of messed up. So yeah, it kind of looks like Justin's style. And basically, let me go back here. If you want to make it look blue, like in some of his photos, what he'll do also is basically just switch this with this, right? He'll just switch it up a bit and he'll move the temperature to blue and it'll change some of the ca uh, camera calibration. So like if we go down here and just adjust the camera calibration, it'll probably look more like it. And I also like to mention for his green photos, like he has some green photos, what he'll do is he'll actually keep the highlights. So just move this up and he'll move it to a green tint obviously, he'll increase the highlights and then he'll add vignetting. So if he has a nighttime shot, it's gonna have highlights, but every other type of photo, he'll decrease the highlights and he won't add vignetting or at least a lot of vignetting. So let me just go here. So this is kind of what his nighttime shots would look like, but usually what he goes for is he'll go for something like this. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see my photos and my amazing edits. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.